Your rescuegroups.org account is all about information. We help you organize that information by using data tables. Data tables are like other tables with horizontal rows and vertical columns. You can filter and sort the information in a way that makes sense to you. Some of the data tables you have seen in your account are for animals, contacts, and if you have our website service, for web pages. Let's look at the data table Animal List by going to the Animals tab and selecting Animal List. Notice that the heading tells me the current view, in this case the default animal view. A view is about how the information is filtered. You have built-in views and you can create custom views. You can share your custom views with other volunteers. From this pull-down menu labeled Views, I'll select Active and now the list changes to only those animals which are active, that is, all the live animals in the organization's care. If I change to My Fosters, it lists only the animals I personally foster, no matter what the status might be. I could create a custom view called My Adopted Fosters, in which I would only see my adopted foster animals. Let's return to the default view. You'll see a pull-down menu labeled Actions. You can save time by using the actions. For instance, let's say that at an adoption event over the weekend, three of our foster animals were adopted. I want to quickly remove them from the website and from the other online adoption sites. I check the animals from the list, then I select the action Adopt and all three now have the status of adopted. Later I'll complete the adoptions so that I can track them, but for now these animals are no longer listed as available for adoption. The action delete deletes an animal from the data list. We recommend that instead of deleting animals you select the animal and then change the status to something more specific like transferred to another rescue, euthanized, lost, or on hold, for instance. Share and unshare has to do with whether you want the animal's information to be available to your partners in the animal network, such as shelter partners and other rescue partners. Over here on the top right side of the list, you see some familiar icons from left to right. Go to the first page, go to the previous page, hop to a page, go to the next page, and hop to the last page. Beneath those icons is another set of icons. The first on the left is the toggle thumbnails icon. Clicking this icon adds pictures of these animals to your data table. This icon is only available for the animal list. If you have a lot of animals, it may take a few seconds for all of the photos to appear. Next to that is the search icon. When I click it, you see blank fields open at the top of each column. They allow a search within the column. Let's search for all female animals in my list. I'll type the word I'm searching for in the search field and either hit enter or click the search button. Now let's refine that search and add cat in the species column and search for female cats. Click the search icon again to turn off the search. The next icon to the right is the help icon and you can see that it pulls up a related help page. If you have trouble working with data tables, this quick guide may answer your question or you can go to the user guide and search for what you need or you can submit a help ticket. And last, over here, the Options pull-down menu pertains to what you see in the list. The first three are intuitive, Show More, Less, or the Maximum. The next few determine how you want to see the list. Let's export the list of pets to a spreadsheet file by selecting XLS or CSV. If you have a lot of animals, this process may take a minute. The file appears here in my tray. 
Now let's talk about views. You remember that we started out using the default view. Let's switch to the built-in view labeled Adopted Only. Remember we adopted three animals over the weekend? I expect to see them in this list because I checked them and selected the action of Adopt. And there they are. From the Adopted Only view, I'm going to click the magnifying glass to search, then narrow my choices by selecting Female Cats. This will give me the list of female cats who have been adopted. I can click Primary Breed at the top of the page and sort the list according to breed. You can see how helpful this list and the search function can be if you are, for instance, creating a report or applying for a grant. You can pull the numbers of animals you need in just minutes. This brief overview gave you an idea of how you can use your data tables to organize, view, sort, and manage all of the information in your account. The sorting and filtering is a fluid process that helps you to obtain exactly the information you need. And best of all, it saves time.